Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. I want to bring another instalment in my lecture series on the Christian minister. Now, each of these um, lectures is all about Christian ministry. And of course there's lots of different types of Christian ministry. There's the pastor, there's the evangelist, there's the, there's the deacon, there is the elder, there is the pioneer missionary. But today we're looking at the subject of the Christian evangelist. Now the Christian evangelist understands the gospel and he understands the common man and he spends his time ministering the word of God to unbelievers. Now there's no getting away with this. The Christian evangelist uses his time and spends his time ministering to unbelievers. Now, how he does it is absolutely, um, the, 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 there are many, many ways in which the Christian evangelist will minister the word of God to unbelievers. It may be uh, in public preaching. It may be in distributing literature. It may be in personal conversations. It may be in counselling. It may be in door-to-door -door ministry. There are just so many ways that he will spend his time ministering the word of God to unbelievers. Now, he is like a bridge, if you can understand a bridge, that touches men on the one side and God on the other side. He understands that it is the gospel which reaches from men to God and from God to men. Um, so he is both a man of the world in the best sense and he is a man of God as well. So the Christian evangelist then has a very thorough understanding of the Christian gospel. He's very sound and very rooted in the scriptures. Now he's also a listener. He listens to what people think and he can discern the place where people are coming from. He spent a lot of time listening. He's like the Lord Jesus who for 30 years he was silent. He listened and he listened and he listened. And then when he began to speak, well the world hasn't really ever stopped listening. Now the Christian evangelist can give an explanation of the gospel from scripture. And he's always ready to give an answer to the questions that people bring. He is an apologist. He's always ready to share his testimony and often does it. And he's an expert in helping people to come to faith in Christ. And he has a lot of experience of doing this. So the Christian evangelist then is somebody who has led people to Christ. And often he has led many, many people to Christ. Now, the Christian evangelist also lives in a state of intimate communion with God and endeavors to maintain a clear conscience. He's sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit to guide him to those persons who are ready to hear the gospel. But he also realizes that sometimes he has to speak even when people are not ready. So he is uh, instant, in season and out of season. He can explain the gospel simply. He can illustrate it with apt pictures to get over the main or the difficult points. The Christian evangelist is often pictured in scripture as being that of the fisherman. He's not a pastor, he's a fisherman. He's a person who brings people to a crisis moment of their life in which they come face to face with the challenge of the Christian gospel. And once they've got to that particular point, He's very happy. As long as he's brought them to a point of decision, he's not particularly concerned um, which way that decision goes. He tries not to get upset when people reject the gospel, but he often has the joy of seeing people come to know the Lord Jesus Christ um, as their saviour. So what a glorious ministry this is. Let me reiterate what I said at the very beginning. The Christian evangelist um, understands the gospel very well. He understands the common man 
and he spends his time ministering the word of God to unbelievers. That's what he does. Well, God bless you. Look forward to catching up with you another day. And uh, every blessing. Bye for now.